Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. Also, be sure to turn off the water to your dishwasher. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the main control board in a Bosch dishwasher. It's going to be a very easy repair, should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For this job, we're going to need a 5 8 open-end wrench, 5 16 inch nut driver, Phillips screwdriver, and a flat blade screwdriver. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new main control board. The main control board operates and controls all of the main dishwasher functions. It's located under the tub on the right side. If one or more function of your dishwasher is not working, check the main control board and replace it if needed. To get at the part, we need to open the door. We need to take out a couple of Phillips screws that hold the dishwasher to the countertop. And that's right there, and one in the corner on the left and one in the corner on the right. Using a Phillips screwdriver, I'm going to take it out. Put the towel in the plastic container under the shadow valve, just in case of the water will leak down. And then using the 5 8 open-ended wrench, take off the water line. Then using the 5 16 inch nut driver, loosen up the hose clamp and remove the drain hose from the air gap. Be careful, there is still some water inside the hose. Use the container or the towel. Okay, let's uh, pull it out. Now we're gonna tilt it up and I'm gonna jam it under the counter. And I'm gonna take out a couple of Phillips screws here in the corners and uh, remove the top panel. All right, I'm gonna put it on the feet and uh, pull a little bit more out and we're gonna place it on the left side carefully. We're going to lift up the insulation out of the way. And uh, this is the main control board we're going to remove by uh, first opening this tab and pushing down on the control board. All right, so we're going to put it somewhere here where we can uh, conveniently work on it. I'm going to lift up on this tab and on this tab. And I'm going to remove the cap here. And now we're going to take all these plugs off. So don't rush, one by one. We're going to take this uh, harness out of the retainers. All right, and uh, we're going to press on these tabs here and pull them out, pull them out one by one. Press this and pull out. Okay, and we are going to this side again. Remove the uh, harness from the retainer. And we're going to start uh, pulling these tabs and removing the plugs. All right. This is the old main control board next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from appliancepartspros.com. All right, so we're going to start with uh, opening the steps and removing the cap. All right, now I'm going to install this side. We're going to have a blue in the corner here. And this uh, large plug goes in the middle, that uh, orange, and the red goes in the corner. Every other one is taken. Then I'm going to place the harness into the retainer. And we're going to install these wires. So going to go this plug right here 
Then we have this one right here. And then this one goes here. And this one goes in here. And this plug goes here. Oop. And this one is right here. Make sure they're all locked. And then we're going to install the harness under the uh, retainers. Okay. And <clears throat> now we can install the uh, the cap. Push it down. These two tabs are locked. Now we're going to slide the uh, new control board into the opening here on the top. And we're going to place this tab underneath. Press it up, and this tab and this tab are holding that uh, control board in place. Now we're going to place the insulation back on. All these uh, cutouts. All right now we can put it upright. And I'm going to put the toe panel on. Placing it on, I'm going to match the holes and put a couple of screws here. That's the uh, Phillips screws. I'm not going to place the dishwasher down and reinstall it under the counter. Let's manually thread on the water line onto the shadow valve and tighten it using 5 8 open ended wrench. And then we can take out the towel and the container. Connect the drain hose to the air gap and tighten the clamp with the 5 16 inch nut driver. And now I'm going to secure the dishwasher to the countertop with a uh, couple of Phillips screws. And now we can close the door. Turn the water on, plug the dishwasher in, and run it to check for leaks. Hopefully there is none. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other videos available on our site, on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Instagram.